Hey guys, I'm Darren from Old Victorian New and welcome to my gaff. My interior style, I suppose, is a mix of old and new, uh, hence my uh, blog and Instagram name. You can see here the kitchen is the new part of the house, the old part is the sitting room with the 12 foot high ceiling and I like to pick up bits and pieces that mix that modern meets uh, old Victorian. Our home is a mix of from lots of different places. When we go traveling, we pick up different pieces like our clock we picked up in Rotterdam. We have a bowl from Istanbul. So this is the latest addition to our family. It's the Maya sofa from the So Simple range from DFS. It's in blush pink and linen. And it was just, I fell in love with it the minute I saw it. It has the deep button back on it, which is kind of uh, modeled on an old style sofa, but it's been brought up to date with the color and the style. It's really compact. And the whole experience from the minute I saw it to ordering it to the delivery was just outstanding. Um, and I, we're just crazy about it, I love it. Uh, I went for the two-seater, the single-seater, and the footstool. And the reason I went for the footstool is because it's multifunctional. It can be used as a footstool, as a coffee table, if I put a tray on it, and also as additional seating if we have family over and we tend to have this space regularly filled with people. The next thing is my plate wall. I love the willow pattern, so I love navy. I'm drawn to anything that's blue and white. Uh, I intend to grow this wall as well. I pick these plates up in charity shops. People have started to send them to me uh, and give them to me, but I just think it's a really cool way to bring color into your room as well. And I love, uh, I love that they come in so many different patterns. The next thing in this room is the fireplace. So this fireplace I took out of a skip. It had about 40 layers of white paint on it. Uh, and I used a, a product to strip the paint. I uh, sanded it back down and I uh, coated it with black. A, a kind of a black lacquer and uh, I got a guy to fit it in with the heart which I got in Max Salvage. So there was no fireplace in this room, there was an old fireplace I think it was from the 60s but it wasn't original and I think this would have been original to this style of property and I absolutely love it. Advice for people when they, you know, if you view, if you view an old property, um, you know, don't take on, on anything that is way over what your budget, you know, because you'll, you'll never get it finished, you know, so that would be one, one tip is look at, look at what your budget will be able to do in that particular property. I was lucky that I had somebody in the family that I could ask, but I would definitely get somebody like a builder or um, a structural engineer to come and view your property with you. I think that's so important. A lot of the stuff and a lot of the problems that we encountered, we didn't, you couldn't see in the first two or three viewings. So it was only when we started peeling stuff off the wall that we, we encountered problems. I think if you get your structure right, and if you get your, um, if you get things like your insulation, your, um, you know, get your extension right, all the building works, I think you can take your time then with cosmetics and you know, you can do it up as you, as you go along. I'm just gonna take you into the kitchen. This is the new part of the house and it was an extension that we built on when we were renovating our home. I have to point out the polished concrete floor. This was a big risk because we didn't choose our stone when we were actually polishing it. So we didn't really know what way it would turn out but we absolutely love it. It's covered with a coat of lacquer and uh, it's a, the perfect flooring for this big space. The next thing I would like to point out is the brick wall. This was something that I really fought for and I'm so glad that I stuck to my guns and uh, fought for it. It's using reclaimed bricks, which were uh, in the dividing wall between the two bedrooms upstairs. So it's using a piece of the old house in this new modern extension. I love this door. <laughs> Um, this is the garden space and when we first bought the house it was loads of split levels so, and it was just full of rubble, there was an old shed in the corner and what we really wanted was a space that was low maintenance first off, that we could have some flowers uh, so for some colour and it was really a space where we could chill out, relax, entertain with friends so we put in a bench, we built a bench all the way around which is really good for parties. The walls behind are in pretty poor condition and we ran out of money so we actually built this fencing ourselves. We put in fence posts and used treated timber uh, all the way around. When I was decorating the garden I wanted a space where we could just chill out and relax and have a glass of wine. Festian lights were purchased in B&Q and they were really inexpensive and they're a lovely way to add atmosphere into a garden at night time. Uh, some furniture, comfortable furniture, a coffee table and there you have it. A really nice cool space to chill out.